Hi, I'm Brian, Franchise Account Manager here at NCR Silver. I would like to present to you today the Silver Register, which is an all-in-one point-of-sale solution with true plug-and-play capabilities. The Silver Register operates on a closed Android system, which means only one thing, help you run your business. Now, what you get in your basic silver bundle includes the silver register, the printer, and the cash drawer. Depending on which hardware bundle you buy, you can have additional accessories such as the customer display and the barcode scanner. The silver register comes with the NCR Silver app preloaded, requiring no additional downloads. If you look to the side, we also have a built-in card reader, which means no additional assembly required. Now, if you turn over and look underneath the register, there are your hardwire connection ports offering better stability. We support cash drawer, customer display, barcode scanner, printer, and ethernet for faster transaction speed. Best of all, because the register is a stationary device, we support multiple Apple devices for on the floor payments. After you've unboxed all your items in your bundle, the very first thing you want to start with is your cash drawer. Remember, it's a good idea to place your cash drawer and stage your uh, register somewhere, preferably near a power and ethernet source. Once you have your cash drawer on your countertop, you'd want to lift up and pull the actual cable that's going to connect to the register. Once the cable's out, you can now place your register on the unit to begin the first connection. Take the cable and plug it into the left far port labeled cash drawer. You should hear a click. The next item you want to stage is the printer. The printer is going to come with the USB port. It has, the cable itself has two different ends, a square and a more rectangle. You're gonna take the square connector and plug it underneath where it says USB. You'll take the other end and plug it in one of the two left USB ports underneath the register. We also have the power cord, which I've already plugged into my outlet, and to the far right, labeled power. The next item we want to connect is our customer display. It plugs underneath through a USB port. I'll take the other end of the cable and plug it into the port labeled customer display. The next item we want to connect is a barcode scanner. You'll take the USB for the barcode scanner and plug it in the next available left USB port. The next item you want to connect is the ethernet cable on the far right labeled ethernet. After all my connections are made, I can then power on my silver register. So after your device is connected, and all the peripherals are added. Turn your register right side up. The first page you'll see is the welcome screen. All you have to do is tap the blue getting started. You will see it will tell you you're already connected. Now if you're not connecting via internet cable and you have a Wi-Fi network you would like to connect to, you will see a list of wireless networks to connect to. Choose your network and log in. 
Now, if there is a software update needed, you will see your screen doing a small little update. Because our register has already been updated, it's telling us it's already up to date. Step three will be to select your time zone. If you scroll up and down the list, you'll see a list of available time zones. Select your time zone and hit the blue next. Step four and the last step will be to actually register with our back office credentials, which you should have received an email with. Now you can name each device with a descriptive name in case you have more than one register. For the sake of time, I'm going to leave the default name in there and just go ahead and use my demo store login. So once you've typed in your back office credentials, tap register and the device will begin the sync process. Once your device is done registering, you'll see this page that confirms your device is now registered. Go ahead and tap the blue next. And now it brings us to the login screen. Use your four digit pin that you've been assigned or created in your back office. By default, the NCR Silver app will take you to the hardware registration page to where you can connect and test each peripheral device. The first step will be to add a printer. Look at the bottom of the list and tap the green add next to the word printer. You will see a list of available connection types. Because we're hardwired, we're gonna use USB printer. It's gonna show the printer name, select it, and tap next. Automatically it's going to turn on a receipt and set it as a default printer which is what we want. Tap done in the top right. You should have received a test receipt confirming your printer is configured. The next step will be to test the cash drawer. If it's connected properly your cash drawer should have just opened. Tap OK and close the drawer. If we want to test the customer display, we can hit test and it will show us the word success, confirming it did work. We could tap confirmed. The next step would be the barcode test. Um, if you had a barcode, you could scan it underneath and it would read it and confirm that it did scan. So once all your devices have been successfully tested, you could hit the home button Ticket entry, start your first shift, and enter your starting cash amount. I am now ready to run my first transaction. Pick any item in your store and use your credit card. And we do support quick ringing, which means I can just swipe the card from the ticket screen. I'm an approved transaction. And that concludes our tutorial on configuring and setting up your NCR Silver Register. So here's some additional advice to help you after you're done setting up your hardware. In case you set up your customer display and you don't see it powered on, make sure you've successfully registered the device. After the last step, you'll notice your device now powers on. The reason for this is because your store name will display, which it won't do until it pulls the settings. So just make sure you do completely register every screen. So after you've successfully connected all your USB devices, if you notice your devices are not turning on, you may want to check the connection underneath the silver register. Start first by unplugging and unscrewing the latch underneath the register and making sure you're using the left two top and bottom USB ports. If you notice there's a device connected on the right side, move it to the left USB open port 
and power cycle your device. The device and the hardware should now successfully connect to that USB. Another great feature is the NCR Silver Register supports dual cash drawers, which means each employee gets their own drawer assigned to them. This offers more accountability for the business. It's as easy as taking the existing cable from the second drawer and plugging it into the back of the printer in the DK port. Just so you know, NCR Silver can be reached 24-7 via phone, email, chat, or text.